Howdy! You might be wondering what I'm doing in my shop. Well, I'm gonna tell you. We are going to melt some lead. Now, do not try this if you're not a trained professional. It's not safe. You can hurt yourself. So I am a trained professional. Do not try this at home. This contraption is something that I fabricated. It makes beautiful balls as long as you keep everything hot and flowing properly. This is almost a flawless ball. It's a 12 pounder, but I'm gonna show you what I do to make these. I fabricated this out of some angle that I had just laying around the shop. So it is one and a half inch angle, metal, you know, just regular steel angle. And this right here is nothing more than a speed wrench. And I just whacked it in half and welded it onto a piece of tube, welded a bottom onto the tube itself, and uh, made it so I could pour. This thing holds 14 pounds of lead. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load it up, we're gonna melt her down, and we're gonna make a 12 pound ball. Now this thing, as you can tell, is galvanized. One of my videos about halibut fishing, I explained the trailer that I built. I built a, a tongue, a, a custom made tongue for it because I wanted it to be two feet longer. And so I had that tongue galvanized up in Seattle and they charged me a flat rate and so I tossed this in along with a couple other things that I wanted galvanized just for the heck of it. And I'm glad I did because this thing, now that it's galvanized, just slides beautifully. All the molds fit nicely on here. This 12 pounder, the 10 pounder, and um, I borrowed Mike's uh, 15 pounder. Fits perfectly in here. Let's go ahead and get this process started. So, let's get our mold ready. A couple of these. Just set these in here like that. Close it up. I'm gonna wrap this handle closed so I don't have to worry about it popping open for any reason. And there, we're ready to go, okay? Set that baby in there like this. So we're gonna get it perfectly positioned. We're gonna wire this handle closed so I don't have to t attend to it. Open the valve. Now remember, I'm a trained professional. If I wanted to, I could really go crazy on it. We're gonna keep dropping it in until we have this about an inch from the top, and that's about 14 pounds. Filling it up. Woo, she's going down now. Right to the top. ready to pour right now, but the mold's not ready to receive it. Need to keep that handy. Okay, here we go.
Now we wait. It takes a long time for these to cool down. So we'll cut away right now. Woo! She's hot. Even the handles. It's important to get it hot back here because like, like I said, this is where the fin is. And if you don't get it hot back here, you get those lines in your ball. Nobody wants lines on their balls. But they're, it's hot. They're gonna be hot for a while. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Still not perfect, but dang nice. So there you have it, bigger balls. Dang near flawless, a few lines here. But yeah, can't ask for better than that, can you? So, tomorrow is Friday. And I am heading out with Bobby once again to hit Westport. I wanted to make sure I had the proper size balls so I minimized my blowback, increase our chances, have both downriggers going. I am ready because I bought spare parts for everything. I got a spare balls, I got spare rubber snubbers, spare releases, spare everything except for a spare downrigger. So if I lose a downrigger over the side, uh, I'm going to be screwed. But anyway, tomorrow, Westport, bright and early buddy boating with Mike. So Mike will be out there as well. You'll see him. So uh, looking forward to it. See you out there.